In this video, we are going to learn about converses, inverses, and contrapositives of conditional statements. So we're going to look at an example to do this. The example is, if it is my birthday, then I get cake. Now remember, the part that is attached to the if, it is my birthday, that is the hypothesis, and the parts that attach to the then is called the conclusion. So the first part is the hypothesis, and the second part is the conclusion. Now we can take those two parts of the sentence, it is my birthday and I get cake, and mix them up to create three new conditional statements. The first one is called the converse, and the converse is when you switch the hypothesis with the conclusion. So the converse would be, if I get cake, then it is my birthday. So all I did was switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. Okay, and I'm not talking at all about whether these things are true yet, I'm just creating new sentences. The inverse of my original sentence, if it is my birthday, then I get cake, is what is created when I negate both parts of the original sentence. So that would be saying, if it is not my birthday, then I do not get cake. So in the inverse, you keep the sort of hypothesis and conclusion where they are in the sentence, but you negate both of them. The final sentence that we can create based on these original two parts, it is my birthday and I get cake, is called the contrapositive. And the contrapositive is basically a combination of both the converse and the inverse. So what you're going to do is negate both parts of the sentence, but also switch them. So it would be, if I do not get cake, then it is not my birthday. So as you can see, the contrapositive is sort of the inverse of the converse, or the converse of the inverse. It's both of those combined. Now there's some symbolic notation that is important to know and that can sometimes simplify all the rewriting of these sentences. So if we go back to our original, if it is my birthday, then I get cake, we're going to call the hypothesis of the original statement P and the conclusion I get cake Q. So this original statement can be notated symbolically as if P then Q and this arrow is sort of like the then and the fact that P comes first means sort of the if P. So the way we would notate the converse if I get cake then it is my birthday well we've just switched the P and the Q part of the sentence so this would be if Q then P. For the inverse, we didn't switch the order, but we did make each of them sort of negative. And the symbol for negative is a little squiggle like this. So the inverse would be not P implies not Q. And we would read that little squiggle as not. Now the contrapositive was the combination of both of those. So it's just going to be not Q then not P. Now this might seem like a whole bunch of random stuff with all these letters, but it can just help to simplify having to write out the sentences when you're just trying to think about the different combinations, that's all. Now the last thing to, that you need to realize is that just because an original sentence is true, like maybe it is true that you always get cake on your birthday, maybe this first sentence is true, that doesn't mean that the rest of them will be true. The converse often isn't true, in fact. If I get cake, then it is my birthday. Well, that's not necessarily true, because what if you got cake for some other reason? You just went and got some cake. 
It doesn't necessarily mean that it's your birthday just because you're eating cake. So the converse is often not true. Same with the inverse. The contrapositive will always be true if the original sentence was true. And the last thing you need to know is that if both the original sentence and the converse is true, that is called a biconditional statement. And that's sort of an if and only if situation when both the original statement and the converse is true. So that wasn't true in this example about the cake and the birthday, but that will be true with some mathematical rules and theorems that you will see this year in geometry.